This is old Kim. And this is not a spring chick. And today we're going to be talking about Easter. Yeah, actually the Judeo-Christian origins of Easter, oh. which by now after the many years we've been doing this, everybody knows it was, it was, it's all pagan and related that basis. What? Yeah, it was just about fertility and all that stuff. It has nothing to do with the birth of Christ. It is nothing, it is an a-religious religious celebration. I know, for all those people that think Easter is a religious celebration, mm -hmm. it's just, it's, you know what it reminds me of? It's like putting all those holidays together and say it's President's birthday. Yeah, and that's right? what they did, they put God off a lot of things. It's a, basically, it's a, a, a common theme president in many of the ancient pagan religions described the life of a man, God, a savior of humanity, his execution, his visit to the end of the world, his resurrection after two or three days and his ascension to heaven. It's like everybody does the same thing, folks. <laughs> There's nothing, you know, you know, you, uh, you know, basically, uh, example, uh, Yeshua of Nazareth, which I did find out he's actually the man from Nazarene. He's not really, a lot of people didn't refer to him that until later on in life as uh, Jesus Christ. You mean it's basically the same person, everybody's calling him something different. Yeah, so... Uh, or the same image. Basically, the timing of the cel Christian celebration of Easter is linked to the Jewish celebration of the Passover. But unfortunately, it's also the same time that the Druids were doing it, the same time that... The, oh, the, really? Yeah, everybody was doing it the same Wait, time. Wait, this is like revisionist Easter. Yeah, and if you, because it has to do with the fact it was the time of the year. Okay, we're going to go, because we've done it before, so I know the fact. Jesus actually died a month before, yep. and he and he was resurrected a month before. So therefore, how did they end up combining it with Easter? Because it was the time when it was, it was a, basically the spring, you know, the part, basically there was a summer planning and all that stuff. Because part of it is Easter in the pagan religions and the Druid religion, it's a celebration of spring, which is why you have a bunny, yeah. right, and you have eggs. It's all like. Yeah, the body and eggs. Okay, but the, here's the trick is, the Jewish people followed the Persian Babylonian calendar and started each year with the spring equinox, March the 21st, which actually is about the time they said that Jesus was actually resurrected, folks, not the time now. Uh, equinox means equal night. Uh, basically, the night and the day is like 12 hours and 12 hours. The Passover was derived from the actions of the angel of death as described in the book of Exodus. The angel passed over the homes of the Jews, uh, which were marked with the blood obtained from a sacrificial animal. The same agent exterminated the firstborn of every family whose doorway was not marked. They one of the greatest acts of mass murder ever created in the name of a religion. So, which they basically now have... Um, and also, uh, uh, they said the firstborn of domesticated animals also died, which I, I also read the thing. Here's the deal is, you know why the firstborn of all of those people died, including the animals? Why? The firstborn was given the best to eat because the firstborn was always the strongest and healthiest, and they said the food supply sucked. Oh. And by giving your food to the firstborn, you were actually killing the firstborn. What? What happened was... The Jewish people were feeding their people differently than everyone else was being fed mm -hmm. on the Passover. So therefore, you didn't eat the bad food. You only ate the good food. And they said, that's, it's not revisionist history. It's just called Watch the History Channel. <laughs> Someday you'll find out stuff. Um, basically, it's basically actually linked to a pre-Israelite pagan ritual practiced by wandering Semitics. And shepherds. The feast of the unleavened bread was traditionally a Canaanite agri uh, it was originally a traditional Canaanite agricultural harvest, which was adopted by the Israelites. See, I told you this is I like this new history I got, folks. This is very different. It marked. I'll, I'll tell you, the last couple of years it's, it's changed dramatically. Yeah, it marked the start of the barley harvest. Barley was the first crop to ripen because they occurred about the same time each year. The two celebrations become merged, like you were talking about the holidays became associated with the exodus of, uh, you know, history basically changed, you know, actually because somebody rewrote history and it, it became associated with the exodus then. Mm -hmm. And so there we go. The, we are now conservative theologians. Which was, when was Jesus executed? Or, or conservative theologians um, generally believe that the original Passover was established by God as described in Exodus 5 and that the annual Passover observances were created as appointed feasts. Established by God as described in Leviticus 23, um, 
5 through 14, and both were recorded by Moses. I think it was Leviacus. Leviacus. Was that how you personalized? Leviacus. Oh, um, okay. Well, anyway, that guy. I, I, my family, I've got lots of Jews in my family. Okay. So when was Jesus executed? Actually, it's Yeshua. Yes. Yeshua. Yeshua. The um, man from Nazarene, because he was not, he was never called Christ. Ah, when did he come up with the name Christ? Uh, he had a good PR person about a thousand years later. <laughs> <laughs> so Passover was the most important feast of the Jewish calendar, celebrated at the first full moon after the vernal equinox. The equinox typically, typically occurs on March 20th, 21st or 22nd, according to our present calendar. The Gospels differ on the date of Jesus' execution. Yeah, the, yeah, because, uh, they, they, <laughs> I know. Well, what? okay, because we, we uh, it's historically, it's thought to have been a month ago. Mm -hmm. Remember, uh, okay, this day is a day set for making money for people. Mm -hmm. It's a business holiday. Mm -hmm. It's not really a religious holiday because they put the Ten Commandments on a week before or a week of. So they're running in the theaters on Friday this year, so. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, the uh, go uh, Synoptic Gospels, Mark, Matthew, and Luke state that Jesus' Last Supper was a cedar, a Passover celebration at the start of the 15th of Nisan, just after sundown. Jewish days begin at sundown and continue to the next sundown. I know the Gospel of John states the Last Supper at the beginning of the 14th is recorded as having died on the afternoon of the 14th. Mm -hmm. So um, basically he, he had the dinner and died the, the 14th the same way according to that. They, most most re, most theologians reject the timing because I think they had to have a little bit more than a day between him being taken in and and beaten all up and then executed. It took more than a day. Oh well, yeah, it kind of does take it more than a day. Yeah. Uh, see, they set the execution date as April as, uh, as April thirtieth, Friday, April thirtieth. That's correct. Oh. Which is basically following. It's two weeks. Okay, here's what they said. There's a month difference. It's either the middle of March or the last of April. So that's a big time difference between when they actually hold it. But um, basically, most theologians reject the interference in the Gospel of John that Jesus taught over an interval in excess of two years and less than four years. The early crucifixion date is compatible with the one-year ministry, which means basically he was a young guy and only been getting into trouble with the people for a year. Oh, that's it? That's one year. Oh. Yeah. Basically, most Christians believe that Jesus Christ, who was never, who was not Jesus Christ at the time, he was the man from Nazareth. Nazareth. He was in yeah, Nazarene. The Nazarene. Yeah. Which um, we did hear, you did hear it quite often before. Oh, well, because it actually, I was, in a, I was in a band western called The Man from Nazarene. Ah. It, it was filmed in Israel, folks. So most Christians believe that Jesus Christ, or the man from Nazarene, was executed and buried just before the beginning of Passover on Friday evening. A minority believe that the execution occurred on a Wednesday or Thursday. Various states other than the two have been suggested, which is... No, we, got a lot. we already know it started in the, 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 uh, the eternal... The thing started the 21st of March, so we're now into the 30th is when... The, 5 CE, 6 CE, 28 CE, or that would be the 31st of April. 32nd of April. I know there's That's no, kind of there's no, no 30 30 seconds, seconds, so. of April. Okay, here, they said here's the one that basically... Well, maybe there was before and now there is no Okay, longer. liberal Christians have suggested the actual date is totally unknown because it had, if you read the history books, it had to either happen, it had to happen in March, not in April. Hmm. It had to, so historians, real historians will say, well, it ha this is why they got a problem about whether it really happened or not. It could have been a great PR oh. thing because they know according to the history, they, they, okay, people kept really great books in those days. They, mm -hmm. they basically kept, uh, you know, what the, they said, some of these people can tell you how much the harvest was in some of these places. Mm -hmm. They kept it in books that survived. Actually, they're little concrete, little tablets, but they, they were store sheds and stuff. But they can tell you when it was. The historic history, they can also today go back and compute when things were by the positions of where the stars, which they also did that. Mm -hmm. You know that if the star was over here, well, it can't be April because the star would be here. Mm -hmm. So, but um, this allowed, uh, basically, it might have happened at any time during the year. <laughs> and the Christian Church already selected Passover 
you know, to be the time. This allowed them to link the most religious days in Judaism and Christianity together. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a great, it was, it was a holiday, folks. It was always a holiday. <laughs> so, um, other, other theologians have suggested that Yahshua of Nazareth never existed, or that he, he lived centuries earlier, or that he was never crucified. Over one billion Muslims in the world believe that he was not executed by the war, Roman army. That's the only thing that people, most people can agree on, is that the Romans did. Okay, um, okay. it works this way. The um, Herod's army executed him. Herod was a Roman. And therefore, they can say simply the Roman, uh, the, the, the head of the, the, the King Herod, who was a Roman citizen's army, executed the man from Nazarene. So, so therefore, it was a Roman that killed him. So that's not, they're not really saying Roman soldiers, that it was a Roman that mm. executed him. So. Well, which is two, can be two very different things. Yeah. Then we got the Christian liturgical calendar now, which is basically has changed a bit over the time. What? Well, okay. We there, so. so until the fourth century CE, Easter and Pentecost were the only two days that Christians observed. Easter Sunday was the main day of celebration, formally recognized by the Council of the Sea in 325 CE. Oh, that's the motorcycle. Pentecost Sunday was also observed as a less important holy day. Seven weeks, 49 days after Easter. Other occasions um, related to Jesus' execution were gradually added to the church calendar, such as Lent. Yeah. I always think of Lent as a really important day. You know why? Yeah. Because when Lent starts, I know people think that's when Fish Fridays. <laughs> well, actually, Friday is our last fish day for fish. Oh, I know. People, what? I know. Yes. I know. Basically, it basically, it, it's days changed also. It, it's a few days, to, a few days to a few weeks difference between religious organizations. Mm -hmm. you like that. Yeah. So Lent is a period of spiritual preparation for Easter, which typically involves fasting, penance, and prayer. Yes, I do remember that. <laughs> I love this one. Among the Eastern Orthodox churches, it is a full eight. Weeks because uh, because Saturdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, Sundays, Sundays are not Sundays. included. I love it. See, well, see, during Lent is like you give up something and then you have Fish Fridays. Yeah, the, you I, see fish on Fridays. Okay, it's Ash like Wednesday. Fridays. This is held on the first day of Lent. Uh, Wednesday, and that's what they call mm. it. Wednesday. Mm. Holy Week. Oh, week. and don't eat those ashes. Yeah, the Holy Week, the week before Easter Sunday. Actually, I had a I had a thing yesterday. I had just having lots of balls. I had macaroon. That was good, though. I know, it wasn't really. I ate the matzah. <laughs> uh, okay, Palm Sunday, guess what day that one is? Oh, this is held on the Sunday before Easter Sunday, and it recalls Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem one week before his, ex um, his execution. And Holy Monday commemorates Jesus' cleansing of the temple. I wish they'd think somebody did, but uh, they said this is probably what caused the problem because they, the church leaders were somewhat pissed at him and contacted the Romans. Oh, really? About him. Yeah. Why? Yeah, because it occurred so close to Passover when nationalists they filmed when the Jews at Hall at time and uh, I remember that. Oh, the, the, yes, yes, you know, yes. Um, so, Holy, I think Holy Monday, that is Easter week, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's Holy Monday. And Holy Tuesday recalls Jesus' his description to his, to his disciples on the Mount of Olives to the destruction of Jerusalem. And then we got Holy Wednesday. Guess what day that was? Like Holy Wednesday, Monday. Um, Today Monday, is Holy Wednesday. Man, Monday, Thursday, Monday, Thursday. But I love that Holy Wednesday is also called Spy Wednesday because of Judah. <laughs>